Now, Nigerian leaders and experts have always ruling elite to uh, uh, unite with a progressive agenda to guide the country towards greatness. Now, the guest speaker at uh, speakers at Professor Emeka uh, Imera's public lecture in Abuja delved into their childhood and his uh, humble backgrounds while praising President Bolad Ahmed Tunibu for his visionary leadership style. Now, uh, Imera was surprised by the progress made by the country so far. In the spirit of boldness, courage and determination, I must commend President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR. A true visionary for his maverick style leadership over the years. Leading Nigeria requires navigating complex challenges and making decisions that may not yield immediate results or compliments. Mr. President is conducting himself as if he is not interested in a second term in office. He's making policies that, though not popular, I believe those policies will yield great fruit. I guess the speakers at the event expressed optimism for Nigeria's economic recovery, stating that total government control is necessary and a social compact between Nigeria elite groups is necessary. These crises are basically the crisis of social justice, one, the crisis of productivity, and the crisis of public ethics. The crisis of social justice has two aspects, what we call the nationality crisis, nationality crisis. Who are we? Can we just be one and move together? Two, the state religion crisis. How do we structure a balance that allows us as religious people, but at the same time allow this, a, a secular state organized in a secular democratic manner. Only a radical transformation of our politics will help us permanently avoid this crisis. And these two facts is what inform my idea of a social co contract or a social compact as a programmatic framework for to transform Nigerian politics from an instrument of predation and violation of rights to an instrument of freedom and prosperity. Adam Fushima, the former governor of the state and the current senator, believes government business uh, collaboration is crucial for economic prosperity, citing so a free market economy and structural adjustment program as contributing factors. If government has no business in government, why do we go through all the rigor, all the challenges we go through to elect a government? The market, by its nature, is not accountable except to the buyer and the seller. But we elect governments that are accountable, that we should be held responsible for our collective well-being. Nigeria was at its best when we formulated policies that were informed by the Nigerian condition and by the character of the Nigerian people. Opportunity that needless debate about whether or not the Nigeria state should surrender and we should delegate the market to regulate our lives. The more debate about structural adjustment program. 